This is um, a track of the launch of a vehicle called Juno 2 in the summer of 1959. This is a, a very well-known picture for those collector of rocket pictures. This was really spectacular almost from the get-go. We see the vehicle lifting off and um, essentially coming over immediately and being destroyed by um, range safety, at least to the extent it can be destroyed by range safety at that altitude. Here's a view from the other side. The, um, the Juno 2 was a vehicle put together by the um, Von Braun Group at what became the Marshall Space Flight Center um, in response to a requirement to have a vehicle with some marginal amount of um, lunar payload throw weight. And to do this, here's another view of the, um, the same mishap. This, this vehicle consists of a Jupiter Intermediate Range missile that has stacked on top of it um, the same upper stage combination as the Jupiter C, which was uh, clusters of what was called Baby Sergeant solid rocket motors developed by, um, I believe, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And those solid rocket motors were um, in a, um, a spin stabilized assembly that um, looked a lot like a wash tub. And of course that wash tub was plainly visible on the Jupiter C and the Juno 2, it's enclosed inside the payload fairing, so it's not, uh, not nearly as visible. This, um, this launch that we're seeing um, is happening at the ABMA launch complex down at the Cape. That uh, launch complex was uh, complexes five and six, which people will recognize as being Alan Shepard and Gus Grissom's launch complex. Adjacent to it is Launch Complex 26, which people recognize as Explorer 1's launch complex.